Okay, this is that pearl row I told you to finish all the way across. So I'm finishing that up now. And we're turning it. And we're on the knitted side. And we're ready to start picking up the gusset stitches. So this is the way we're going to do this. All right, now we purl that row. And we're going to start the gusset. And to do the gusset, we have to knit one more row. So we're going to knit across. I don't know how to do that. And then we're going to start picking up the gusset stitches. And we're going to pick up 14 stitches up the gusset to the corner of the sock and put a gusset stitch in. <clears throat> All right, so here we go. Now, the stitches we're going to pick up are going to come across all those stitches that we slipped. You can see them right there. They're kind of large and hanging out, not tight like the ones are in here. So what we're going to do is, takes a little maneuvering for the first one. You're going to go across. Can you see it? Okay, we're going to go across the stitch. We're going to loop the yarn over and pop it through. That's a stitch right there. So that's number one. There's the second one. Cross, pick up a loop, pop it through. So there's two. Now, if you were just picking up stitches, you just go through. But we're picking up and knitting, so we're popping them through and adding them onto our needle. And we're going to try and do to 14. Now the important thing here is that your stitches are even looking, evenly distributed across this area of your heel. So if you feel you have a gap and you need to pick up one or two more, it's not a problem because we're going to be decreasing these stitches later on. So we're going to pick up 14 on this side. And then we're going to do the gusset stitch. And I'm going to show you the gusset stitch a way one of my old friends that's an older knitter has been doing all her life. And she uses double, uh, double pointed needles. But this is a stitch that you, she uses in her gusset and she never has a hole. And the mark of a good socker is one that doesn't have a hole in her gusset. So here we go. There's the last stitch for 14. Pull this out just a little bit so we can see our stitches. Reposition my yarn. Now, you see the ladder right here that's involved? So this is what we're going to do. The gusset stitch is from here to there. So instead of picking up one stitch this time, we're going to pick up one on this side and one across on the other side. Can you get that? And kind of tighten them up. Put them on your shaft so they get a little big. And you're going to find your thread. Now, you need a lot of tension on this because we have to pull it through two instead of one. Now, when you're first starting, see. you see it there? They're, they're snug together now, so you can't see them. There you go. All right, so I'm going to have to bend them down and stick them under. So they're going to go under like this. Oops, I missed it. So here we go. Pick them up again. Get that thread in there. Hang on. There it is, right there, in the gusset. No hole below it. That's a successful gusset stitch. Now what we're going to do is take the topper off our holder, and we're going to knit across our 28 instep stitches, which is the top of our sock. And then you'll be ready to pick the other 14 stitches up, the gusset stitch first. Oh, and we need to place a marker which I've dropped off my table. There they are. Here we go. Place your marker here for your gusset marker. And now knit across your 28 insole stitches. Here we go. So we're picking up the stitches and we're putting them all back on our nine inch circular needle. And we'll have all of our stock stitches back together again. And we'll be getting ready to do the gusset decrease. Okay, here we go. 
and here's the last stitch right there across your insole stitches I'll lay our marker down all right now this is the hard part you have to put your gusset marker on and pick that gusset stitches up with the marker there so this is a little bit challenge so we're coming across over here there we go and across to over here you can probably see them a little better this time so there's your gusset stitches Keeping the tension tight, there it is, right there. And now we're gonna pick up our 14 stitches just like we did before across this opening of our heel flap. And then we'll be ready to start the decrease. So here we go. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen. There we go. And they're all back on your nine inch circular needle. But we have to complete this round, which means we have to continue to knit all the way over here to our go marker, which is going to be our blue one today. So I'm going to knit around the circle and I'll meet you right back there. <laughs> 